Welcome to the Science Digest Show. Science Digest Show, the mystifying science. On the day on the show, we have one person who studies computer engineering here with us today in the person of? Faith Sebisero, third year computer engineering student here at Academic City. All right, nice to meet you, Faith. Nice to meet you. All right, sure. Tell us about computer engineering. So I would say computer engineering is where electrical engineering meets computer science. So electrical engineering is concerned with like electrical systems and also like electronics as well. And computer science is more concerned with like software applications. So all like your mobile apps and web apps are products of computer science. So when you're bringing those two together, computer engineering, the central thing is computer systems. So things that are able to understand code, you can write code on, you know, that kind of thing. Amazing. Okay. So I realize you were talking about something like data analytics, right? Uh -huh. So what's it about? So data analytics simply means making sense out of historical data to inform your next business decision. Simply like um, getting or understanding trends or patterns in your data that will give you like insights into what next, like one next action to take. Okay. And how about embedded systems? So um, embedded systems, which is my favorite part of computer engineering. So think of it this way, like systems that can think for themselves. So even your normal washing machine, right, it is an embedded system. Why? Because you're able to set a timer and then it knows exactly when to stop. It's able to check the water level and everything, right? How is it doing that? It has a brain in it. Your computer itself is an embedded system. So generally, like any system that can execute to understand instructions on its own, right? That's how I understand embedded systems. So what are the requirements required to study your program? Well, for computer engineering, I think you should have a good foundation in mathematics. So if you're coming from high school, like your e math should be good. You should also have a good understanding of physics because it's electronics and you know, if you are lacking in those areas, you really struggle. But I also want to encourage anybody out there who has no prior experience in coding. Maybe you think like that would scare you not to take on the course. You don't need experience in coding because I didn't do coding before coming, so that's I think what you need. Just a strong foundation in math and physics and you're good. Okay, amazing. I can see you in a nice shirt here with ladder, right? Yeah. Okay, so I actually work for Lada as a technical operations intern. And Lada is an AI powered fintech company and the brain behind Lada is trying to make wealth management and wealth creation as personalized as possible with the power of AI. Amazing. Wow. So you started well on a good note. Yeah. Interesting. So I um, hope you're concluding words for us today. Well, I'll just say that people should explore a lot of like opportunities, keep on learning every day and try to challenge themselves, take on new things, you know, and have that growth mindset. Okay. So from faith, we are hearing that we should have the growth mindset. We should keep on learning every day and challenge ourselves. Thank you for having us on your show. Thank yeah. you. Science Digest Show, The Mystifying Science. See you next time. Subscribe, like, and share. Bye. The Science Digest is true. This is Mystifying Science. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe. Bye.